We're in the gift shop to check it out and I looked down and I freaked out because I saw giraffe. I might have to get this little guy. I love giraffes. And this one would be easy to tuck into my room compared to say like the giraffe masks that they have over here. But those are kind of cool too. Oh, I'm such a sucker for stuff in, in gift stores at zoos. Who knows what? Oh, giraffe necklace. You guys, it's a giraffe necklace with tiny little giraffes touching noses. What am I gonna do? Oh no. I'm in trouble because there's so many giraffes. What am I gonna do? There's so many giraffes. Oh no. I'm so in love with giraffes and there's just so many giraffe things. Oh, I can only put so much on the plane. Okay, I'm actually kind of doomed in this gift shop because there's so many different giraffe items and I have a feeling I'm going to leave with a t-shirt, maybe a two foot tall giraffe plushie and who knows what else. There's jewelry everywhere too. I really wish I had more room in my suitcases because I love giraffes so much and there's a lot of giraffe stuff here. But after we look over all of the stuff in the gift store, I'm going to have to go see the real giraffes. So my sister had to literally drag me out of that <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> she wanted to go in and look because normally it's closed or her daughter's with her. So there's like all animals to see. You don't want to pop in there for too long. Or you know when you take kids into a gift store and they want everything and it becomes like a meltdown no matter what you pick for them. So we went in there and little did we know that the entire place is full of drafts and I freaked out. I wanted everything. The clerk was so nice. She ran around helping me like look at all the different things and all the different items. My sister was like suddenly switched gears completely and freaked out like wait wait no you don't need that six foot giraffe plushie you don't need that jewelry you have a lot of things you're gonna the be okay I know we normally the roles are switched and totally. I'm the voice of reason and she's the one I have to rein in and then the next thing you know I see giraffes and she's not seen me since I just developed my love of giraffes a few years ago so suddenly she's like wait wait no no hold still you're getting too many things put it all back <laughs> and we got out of there thankfully with just a, a draft shirt and a draft window beautiful like mosaic window piece and a cute mug and a cute skirt and I'm gonna consider that victory because wow was that ever really drafts drafts now I know where I'm gonna come draft when I come to visit central. her it was draft central they just need to rename this the like draft gift shop except I just realized again that I haven't actually seen the drafts we should go do that before well, the zoo closes. Well, that'll be the sky safari <laughs> if we get moving. Yeah. gps it before we left. That's okay, you were just telling me how beautiful Kansas City is and how gorgeous it is over here. It's true, look at the Look at the beautiful it's cityscape. Woohoo! And then we almost get hit by traffic. Look at the beautiful city traffic. Oh, B, it's just how I remember. Okay, if you guys ever hear me making jokes about um, Missouri or Kansas City, I promise you I lived here for many years, like seven or eight years. So it's one of those like back in the hometown, pulling its leg sort of things. But I just wanted to make that clear. And here's some more of the really sad billboards. There's some of the most depressing billboards that I have seen in a long time in this state. But it's just really fun because you love it and you love the family that's here, but you also kind of love pulling its leg a little bit because you're from here and, and you know you've got the right. Yeah, earned it. <laughs> earned it. All right, we finally made it. And I am very excited because when you open up the menu, one of the first things you see is the vegan delights. This zen and hearty dish full of daikon, cabbage, carrots, tofu bows, and thin organic tofu in combination with hints of sour napa and fresh vegan broth was inspired by tim Chinese temple cuisine. And this is what Chip says is the absolute best food in the world, is if you can eat Chinese temple cuisine from the Buddhist temples in China, it's supposed to be like the most earth earth shattering amazing food ever so i'm gonna try this out and report back to him so that then we have some incentive to come to kc and try this out together oh and then there's some yummy dumplings and i've heard that the these are really great dumplings and they've had a really fantastic like refinement of the recipe so i've heard really good thing about their vegetarian dumplings here too so i'm so excited we're gonna try some really delicious chinese food oh it's been so long I get a peach tapioca bubble tea and they made it with soy milk so I can actually have it. It has been probably four years since I've been able to have a bubble tea. Four years? Yes, four years because normally they just straight up make it with milk and they won't make it with soy milk and I am so excited right now. 
Oh, you guys, look, we got a little teapot and we are gonna have some of the smooth green tea that they suggest called Dragon Well. And I'm so excited because the bubble tea is delicious, but it's gonna be so nice to warm my hands up on the tea. So let's try this out, B. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are so much bigger than we thought they were going to be. These are the eggplant um, pockets and they're stuffed with a vegan stuffing and a vegan relish on the side. And then we have the vegan, uh, like they're vegan as well, but the vegetable dumplings with the dumpling sauce. I'm so excited. My sister is like, oh my gosh, it's so fancy. But I mean, this isn't even our main meal, so we're really out for a treat, B. So my sister is freaking out because these are the best dumplings either of us have ever, ever had in our entire lives. And you can tell there is some years of generational experience in the making the perfect dumpling here. I can't even describe how amazing it is. And all I can think is that Chips is going to be so sad that we didn't have any idea this place was here last time he was here. And he might come with me to visit my family just for the dumplings. Like, uh, the best dumplings ever. The best dumplings ever. And now I'm gonna be you're gonna dream about the dumplings. And now we're trying the eggplant pockets. They have a vegan stuffing inside, and so we're gonna take them and dip them into this really yummy looking uh, relish sauce and try them out. What do you think, B? She just took the first bite. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, she's in love. I've gotta try it now too, guys. I've gotta try it. We're in love with everything. All right, we're gonna try it. Oh, it smells really good. It smells really, really super good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right? Oh my goodness. Oh look at this. Crispy tofu. And this is this is the soup that is based off of Chinese temple recipes. And I think that Chips is gonna be so jealous that I get to eat it and he's gonna have to come back with me and try it out. Though at this rate we'll actually be in actual China <laughs> next time we have some soup like this. And my sister is so excited because she has her big old seafood soup. Look at it. And everything is so good and we don't even know if we have room for the soup, but it just looks amazing. Guys, that was amazing food. <laughs> my sister and I are laughing as there's no room. We brought most of it back with us. We didn't even get to eat the sesame balls that I really wanted to try because there's no room. That soup, that vegan delight soup, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. And I still have my bubble tea and the Blue Koi, Kansas City, A plus. That was some of the best vegan food I have ever had. And it was such a pleasant change from all of the other Chipotle, which I enjoy, but it was just, oh, flavorful. My sister's in love. Those dumplings were amazing. The soup was phenomenal. The bubble tea was great. And I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on those delicious sesame balls. It's been like, eight years since I last had a sesame ball, so I'm excited. All right, so we finally have enough room to be able to eat the vegan sesame balls that we snagged from the Blue Koi. They're so good. The bean paste inside is so delicious, and it's been an amazing day to the zoo. We popped over, did a little bit of clothes shopping at Target, which I never do, but somehow with our sister powers combined for the first time in our life, we went clothes shopping together and had a great time. The delicious food at the Blue Koi on top of that, it's been, it's been fantastic. It's been the most incredible day. The most incredible day. And now we're winding it down. Within 12 hours, I will be flying to Michigan. So that's going to happen really quick. That's sad. I know, but I miss my chips. I know. I miss them so much. I will miss you. I will miss you too. We'll be, back. we'll be back. Maybe this is a good thing. Otherwise, we would stuff ourselves on sesame <laughs> balls together. Balls. We would turn into sesame balls. <laughs> And so we're just gonna spend the evening relaxing together and watching Doc Martin, which I am hooked on, and I don't even watch TV or like TV or anything, and I'm just, I'm charmed by it. So if you guys are familiar with Doc Martin, let me know. That's probably like more UK viewers, probably England viewers, specific. Maybe, but it's really adorable. But yeah, I'm headed home in the morning, so I'm gonna be seeing chips back to our birds, back to the beautiful plants, and back to work. So it's been a really, Amazing, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. And it's time to go. What are you doing?
<gasps> what are you doing though? Oh my goodness, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, this is cuddle time. Oh, oh. <laughs>